In this problem, we're given a quadratic function and we're being asked various questions. Let's go through each one uh, individually. So solution. Part A is asking if this function has a minimum or a maximum. So to do this part without actually giving a complete graph, we just have to think about whether this opens up or down. So this here, this is our A. So A is 3. And so whenever A is positive, it opens up. Okay, so this uh, quadratic function will open up. If A was negative, it would open down. So that means if you were to graph it, it would look something like this. Oh, look at that. That means it's going to have a minimum. So the answer for this one is minimum. B. Now it wants to know what the minimum is. So what is it? And where does it occur? That's the x value. So the minimum is the y value. Where it occurs is the x value. So to do this part, we're going to use a formula. So the formula is the formula for the vertex, which is the following. It's negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. So this is the point that's right here. So this x value is uh, where it occurs. And this y value is going to be the actual minimum. So in this problem, uh, it looks like a is 3 and b is negative 6. Right? It comes from, from right here. And so we're, let's work out x. It's negative b over 2a. So that's equal to negative, negative 6 over, oh, how nice. Very nice. So we get 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. Ah, so that's where it occurs. So it occurs at x equals 1. That answers the second question. Where does it occur? And what is it? Well, it's the y value at 1. So you just basically take this number and you plug it into your function. So f of 1, that's this piece, right? Because this piece is 1, is going to be 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 minus 1. So that's going to be, uh, let's see, 3 minus 6 minus 1. So minus 3, minus 1, so minus 4. So that's going to be the actual minimum. Okay, so the minimum is always the y value, really important. And where it occurs is the x value. The last part wants the domain and range. So we know that our graph is going to look like this. And we know that this point here is going to be uh, 1, negative 4. So for part C, if we think about this, we can get all of the answers. So the domain is the set of all x values that give you y values. So there's no issue here. Every x value you plot on a graph is going to give you a y value. Even if you just look at the original function, right? There's there's no fractions, there's no divisions by but, but there's no division by zero, there's no square roots. You can plug in any number for x. And the domain is the set of all numbers you can plug in. So the domain here is going to be all real numbers, which can be written as negative infinity to infinity in interval notation. The range is all the possible y values. So the smallest y value is the minimum, so negative 4. So it'll be negative 4 to infinity. You go from the bottom up. So negative 4 to infinity, that's going to be our range. And that should be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.